Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly reading for January 29th through February 4th. This is a singles love reading for singles, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. There's lack of action being taken. Somebody's not moving forward. Not removing the obstacles. It's really time to remove the obstacles. It's time to free yourself from something, okay? And you may be thinking about it, but not taking action. I need to free myself, but not really doing anything about it. Trying to avoid a, a disruption. Not moving forward. Being stuck someplace you don't want to be. So scared. I am so scared. You know, because I got I I I gotta prove myself for some reason. It's like you're putting uh being right in front of being happy, okay? What comes what's really most important to you? Being right or being happy? You're gonna have to have strength, courage, confidence, willpower, discipline. To overcome this grief, to overcome this rejection, to overcome the rejects, the, the rejection that you, or the regrets that you have, okay? I feel like you're going through a period of grief and you are afraid to take action. Um, you are being called to take action and to step into the unknown, but, you know, you're, you're putting your happiness last. It's over, it's regarding a commitment, okay? I feel like many of you want to get out of a commitment of some sort or there's a commitment that has been broken apart and you can't move on from it yet. It's really going to take a lot of courage and strength to get over it. Um, there's been some kind of deceit here. Maybe you've been deceived. Maybe you've been cheated on. Maybe you've been robbed. Maybe you've been lied to. There's something that has happened that makes you, that has left you betrayed. And it's caused you, you know, a lot of heartache. And now you have to let this cycle end. And for you to do that means you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have to take action. And you're going to have to acknowledge this disruption, which you've been trying to avoid. And to let this fall apart, it takes a lot of strength, okay? But you are being called to master your emotions and right now you're not quite there okay let me just make sure that this is zoomed in correctly I think there's a little bit of ego in the way here. I think there's been some kind of rejection or or uh, you have some regrets and there's been probably uh, some kind of argument within a commitment or even a breakup and now it's the argument is still going on. Somebody really wants to prove themselves and because that wanting to prove yourself is so um, strong that the happiness is, is not there, okay? There is some kind of disruption, some kind of um, breakdown that is on the horizon that you are trying to avoid, all right? But there's a feeling of, I've been robbed, I've been cheated, you know? And now it's time for you to love yourself again. It's time for you to do some soul searching, okay it's really time for you to have this compassion for yourself like you've never had it before okay it's time for a renewal it's time for a rebirth it's time for you to start over and build a new foundation elsewhere okay it's time for you to broaden your horizons and start over elsewhere okay because this was a false foundation now it's time to build a new one okay you, are deal you were dealing with somebody that was only focused on 
materialistic things. They weren't focused on love. They were focused on everything but love, okay? And now it's time for you to start over, okay? It's time for you to take a leap of faith and step into the unknown, okay? Without knowing. I mean, step, step into the unknown. Take a risk, a big one, not knowing what's in front of you. It's, it's time to take a risk. Because if you don't, you're stuck. You're going nowhere. If you stay where you're at, there's no forward movement. And you need to realize that the future is so bright and you're not. You're not realizing how, how you're staying stuck in the past, not realizing that the future has so many options for you. All you have to do is be patient. There is wish fulfillment for you here, Aquarius. Trust me. All right? There you are. Happiness awaits. Look at this as a time of renewal, a time of inspiration. You are definitely dealing with somebody who is very materialistic, hot-headed, stubborn, and now it's time to move away from that situation. It's a time of transition that's going to lead you to your ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? If you move away from this situation, truly get the hell out of there, your wishes right underneath will be fulfilled. But you have to accept the truth. As long as you live in this state of denial, you're going nowhere. I feel like you've been through an emotional loss and it's time to really let it go. Just let it go. Don't look back. There's been a split. There's been some kind of breakup, okay, in regards to your partner. There's been some kind of um, lack of connection, all right? And now, again... There, it's been like there's been like a family feud all right and it's time for you it's like somebody has turned away from you so perhaps it's time for you to turn the other cheek because you're not receiving love from this person this person is very withdrawn and they may be ha they may have another person they may be juggling two people whoever it is you're dealing with All right, so you may, you're just going to have to really trust, okay? Trust in the divine plan, all right? There's a reason for everything. You are, you know, there. I the, the person you're dealing with could have another person. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I feel like it is time for you to get creative. It's time for you to refocus. And it's time for you to bring your passion back. Become alive again. Stop clinging to the past. I believe many of you were involved in a third party situation. And you feel like you have nothing to celebrate. But you should be looking at it from a different view. You should be looking at it as a time to celebrate. A time to celebrate the new you. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. That's how you should be looking at it. Because wherever you are at, they weren't offering true love anyway. You deserve a hell of a lot more than what they were offering. Many of you were dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either way, it is time to refocus your thoughts. Okay? It really is. It's time to refocus and really, really get creative. Be confident in yourself. Have courage. And have no fear. Have no fear. Get moving. Run. Let go of the baggage. You don't need it and you don't want it. You've come so far. You've learned so much along this process. You have, you have learned so much. Don't forget how far you've come. I see that you are more wounded. 
but you have the strength to get through this. Whoever you were with, they weren't given, and you do deserve more. Time to stand up for yourself, Aquarius. Because your wishes, your dreams, your desires, they matter. Make your wish and have faith that it will come true. You have a new offer coming in. That could lead to marriage. <laughs> okay, you do have a new offer. But you have to believe in yourself and you really need to listen to your inner guide. Okay, your inner guide has been trying to tell you something. About love. You have a new offer and it's probably a new offer of love, Aquarius. But you have a lack of confidence, a lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, lack of excitement. You are being called to act on your hunches, to listen to your inner guide. Act on your hunches and listen to your inner guide, but you're not doing it regarding a new love. So therefore, you may not get it. You may reject that offer of new love and it may not come in. You may not have any new growth because you're not seeing your worth. It's time to bring your confidence back. Have confidence in yourself. You deserve more. It's time to let go. You're going to have to struggle through this and look at life through new lenses, new perspective, new outlook. I feel like you've been criticized. You have been, you maybe have feel, felt like you were being emotionally attacked, bullied. You were dealing with somebody who was very ruthless. And you can't pretend any longer. It's time to open your eyes and see what you're worth. Otherwise, you haven't learned a lesson yet. If you do not open your eyes and see what you're worth, you are going to continue to struggle because this is the struggle. You have to let this cycle end. The world is the end of a cycle, but it's reversed. If you continue to live in this state of mind or wherever you're at that doesn't serve your soul, doesn't serve your purpose, that is keeping you down and making you feel like you are unworthy, then you haven't learned the lesson. You're going to keep living there. It's time to stop pretending and let go and step over the finish line so you can start the new chapter with love. Perhaps a new love. But you have to do something about it. You have to bring happiness to your life. Happiness depends on you. Okay? You, this is the potential for a very happy time. Should you decide to see what you're worth. You're worthy. You're worthy, Aquarius. You're worthy. So this is a week of reminding yourself how beautiful you are. How lovely you are. How kind you are and what you're worth. There's a potential for new love to come into your life should you realize what you're worth. There's your advice card. Time to go. We already knew that, didn't we? The sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. Remember I told you about a cycle? Let me read this one part again. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. 
something needs to end so that love can come in. You are worthy and you deserve more. So this is what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you later. Oh, jeez, I got to show this to you. Let your past go. I was just thinking this is for singles. I was. I was just thinking this is for singles. It's because you singles are still holding on. That's what's going on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You have a potential for new love. It's all in your hands. Stop pretending you're not worthy because you are.